Three on this Friday morning, uh, we're marking three years since the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak a pandemic. That is today. And there are, of course, still lots of unknowns about the uh, long-term effects of COVID-19. The longest, shortest three years I think we've ever agree, experienced. Right? And we sat down with Erie News Now contributor and epidemiologist Dr. Becky Dawson as she reflects on these past three years. Dr. Becky, talk to me about this three-year anniversary of what really kind of just turned the world upside down. Right. It's been the longest, shortest three years of our lives, I think, is kind of the best way to explain it. But, I mean, we lived through what in the public health and medical world we've been anticipating for some time, which is, you know, global spread of a new infectious disease. And obviously, it at the beginning turned our world upside down and then it introduced us all to new medical public health terms everything from contact tracing to efficacy of a vaccine and now you know as we kind of are i think coming out of it getting ready for you know the pandemic to officially end from a political standpoint you know we're all recognizing that one our lives are going to be different moving forward we've lived through something unexpected, hopefully once in a lifetime. But we also need to be aware that COVID is now a disease that we're going to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis for the rest of our lives. When you think back to those first few days or few weeks, what are the highlights for you? What sticks in your mind? Well, I think that, you know, the highlight for me was how quickly we learned what the virus was, what its genetic code was, um, giving it a new name. Those were all exciting moments. I think it was a real moment, you know, personally as, you know, public health epidemiology kind of came to the forefront of everyone's minds because we are the people that have been talking about this and planning for this for decades and decades and decades. And all of a sudden it was it was like Super Bowl Sunday for us, um, you know, and not the Super Bowl that you want to have to go to, but the one that you actually knew was going to come at some time. So I think that those were big things. And then I think the biggest thing personally was like when we went, when Pennsylvania started going into the green and I got to see my parents again and kind of reconnecting in ways that you don't realize how much you miss those connections until they're taken away from you. What is the greatest lesson learned in all of this for you? Greatest lesson learned is that you know, communication and helping people to understand what is going on is key. Um, there were a lot of, I think, voids of information early on that were no one's fault, but I think having, you know, people that can step in and talk through things, explain why there are voids, explain why things are changing, explain, you know, what's happening um, has been really important. I mean, it's changed the course of my career almost entirely. Um, but I also think that, you know, from a personal level is just to really be grateful for our health um, every day that, you know, we wake up and, you know, we have fresh water and, you know, clean air, all of those things seem to be grateful. And then just the importance of supporting public health as, you know, the backbone of everything that goes on. Because when public health fails, so like when there's a pandemic, everything else falls apart. And so remembering that has been really important. If we were to ever see another pandemic in our lifetimes, what should we do differently? Ooh, um, so I think that there's obviously a lot of lessons. I think that we need to recognize that, you know, some things worked initially and some things didn't. And I think that we need to be less certain about what we know and don't know. And we need to, again, approach it one day at a time. I think that we rush to have models to say, flatten the curve two weeks, wear your mask for two weeks, stay home for two weeks. And then all of a sudden it stretched out and it became more serious and more complicated. And so I think as we move forward, you know, I would love for a little bit more transparency, a little bit slower with the communication and definitely less certainty as we move through the unknown. Cause I think that was really where we were early on. And, you know, it will be the same with the next, whether it's a virus or a bacteria or a parasite or something new, um, we'll have to take it slower and with less certainty. Becky, thank you for joining us. Yeah, three years of the pandemic and three years of uh, Allegheny College epidemiologist Dr. Becky.